Welcome back, geometers. It is time for 7.1 angles of polygons. Recall what a polygon is. A polygon is a two-dimensional closed shape that has straight sides. And we use n, little n, to represent the number of sides. It also represents the number of angles. We are only dealing with convex polygons. All right, so let's start thinking. And basically, you're going to think through this entire lesson, and you're going to figure it out on your own. Okay, I'm just going to kind of guide you through it. Okay, so we start off with this pentagon, right? And so this pentagon, a pentagon is what? Five sides, right? Penta means five. So we know the number of sides is equal to the number of angles is equal to n equals five. Well, what I want you to do is choose a vertex and I'm gonna just choose this vertex here. We could have chosen any vertex. Okay, this works for any vertex, but let's just choose this one. And from one vertex, I want you to add all the diagonals. Now a diagonal of a polygon is just a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. Consecutive means just they happen right in a row. They happen right next to each other. So if I chose, if I'm starting from here, this vertex is consecutive. It's the very next one as I'm going around the polygon. This vertex is also consecutive as I'm going around here. So forget about this and this vertex, but draw a line segment that goes from this to this non-consecutive and from here to there. So it's going to look something like that. So you're going to want to draw this in your notes. Okay, so why did I have you draw the diagonals? Well, if you notice, these diagonals split this polygon up into some really familiar, simpler polygons that we know how to deal with, right? I can separate those three polygons, and those are obviously triangles. So I can kind of deconstruct this pentagon into instead of one pentagon, I can think of it as three triangles that make up a pentagon, right? Here they are together, here they are apart. What do we know about each one of these triangles? Well, how many degrees is inside of one triangle? There's 180 degrees, triangle sum theorem, right? So if there's 180 degrees in here and 180 degrees in here and 180 degrees in there, how many degrees are there inside of the entire pentagon? Well, 3 times 180 is 540 degrees. So that tells us that there are 540 degrees inside of a convex pentagon. So if I put these pieces back together again, like this, if I add up all the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon, it has to be convex, but of a pentagon, then you're going to get 540 degrees. And how did I do that? I just think about how many triangles there are. So why is there 540 degrees in a pentagon? That's because there are three triangles in a pentagon. So this is what I want you to relate today's lesson to is previous lessons on triangles. You guys have mastered triangles all through semester one. Okay, so we're going to break these complex shapes down into smaller shapes that you already have mastered, okay? So let's now take a hexagon, okay, hexagon. What does hexa mean? It means six. So this convex hexagon, it has six sides and six angles. And let's go through that same kind of process that we just did for the pentagon, okay? So my question is, how many triangles are there inside of this hexagon, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm going to choose this vertex here and let's draw all the diagonals, okay? Boom, boom, and boom. There's your diagonals. So now how many triangles do you see? There's four triangles, one, two, three, four. Notice that four is six minus two. 6 minus 2. n was equal to 6, and 6 minus 2 equals 4. Do you see a pattern emerging here? Let's go back. Okay, how many triangles are there in a pentagon? OK, 
Okay, n is equal to 5, and 5 minus 2 is 3. So there's three triangles here. And then in the hexagon, there's 4. So n minus 2 is the number of triangles inside of any convex polygon, n minus 2. So now how many degrees are there in this hexagon? Okay, well, you just split it up into four triangles. You know that each one of those triangles has 180, so there's 180, 180, 180, and 180. So that's just four times 180, or 720 degrees. So we know that any convex hexagon has 720 degrees inside of it. What about a heptagon? Hepta means seven, so seven sides and seven angles. Okay, let's go through the same process. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can go through the entire process and figure out how many degrees are there inside of a heptagon. Okay, so hopefully you figured it out. Okay, first of all, um, n equals seven, so any n minus 2 is equal to 5. There's five triangles inside of a convex heptagon. And so we know that there are 5 times 180, which equals 900 degrees. Okay, So the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a heptagon is equal to 900 degrees. An easier way to think of it is just how many degrees are inside of a heptagon. Okay, That's not mathematically correct, but that is a nice way to think about what we're talking about here. Okay, so that leads us to the polygon interior angles theorem. You've just sort of derived it. You've just sort of figured it out just by thinking about those examples, okay? And this interior angles theorem basically tells us that for any convex polygon, doesn't matter how many sides and how many angles it has, no matter how big it is, okay, for any convex n-gon, okay, the sum of the measures of the interior angles are n minus 2 times 180. Why is it n minus 2 times 180? Because n minus 2 is the number of triangles, and 180 is how many degrees each triangle has inside of it. All right, so here's an example we can do. Find the value of x in the diagram. I encourage you to pause the video and try to figure this one out on your own. Okay, so hopefully you figured this one out. Okay, this n-gon is pretty, not very complex. What is it? It's just a quadrilateral. Okay, so we know a quadrilateral, if we just drew, it, we, you can only draw one diagonal, so there's two triangles inside of a quadrilateral, so there's going to be 360 degrees. And so how do you solve? You just know that all four of these have to add up to 360 degrees. Go ahead and do a little bit of arithmetic a little bit of algebra magic, and you're going to end up with x equals 72. Box your answer. I had a good question on the chat the other day. Someone said, should we box our answers? It's always an excellent practice to box your answers. Also, since we're doing geometry, look at the question. Did we answer the question? Yes, we did. Okay. If you don't box your answer, would it be sufficient to write in 72 degrees right here? Yes, it would. Here's another example. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the shape in the diagram right here. Go ahead and pause the video. Work through this example on your in your notes or your scratch paper. All right. So first of all, you got to figure out, well, what does n equal? Well, just count. Count the sides. It's harder, I think, to count the angles. I think it's easier just to count the sides. So we know that n is equal to 8. Okay, this is, a, this is an octagon. Okay, so n minus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, so there's six triangles inside of this thing. So 6 times 180 is 1080. Okay, here's the math. n minus 2 times 180. 8 minus 2 times 180. 6 times 180 is equal to 1080 degrees, 1080 degrees. So that means that if you add up all the angle measures inside of here, they add up to 1080, 1,080 degrees. Box your answer. 
All right, so now let's talk about what are called the exterior angles because that n minus two times 180, that is the sum of the measures of all the interior angles, the angles inside of a polygon. So what is an exterior angle? Well, an exterior angle, just like when we talked about triangles, is if you simply extend one of the sides, not both sides, but just one side, okay, at each vertex, okay, and if you add up all those angles in the exterior, okay, one exterior angle per vertex, okay, it's always going to be 360 degrees. Now, I'm going to show you a visual proof of this. The visual learners, you're going to love this. Okay, non-visual learners, the way that I remember this is you're just going around the outside. Okay, when you're adding up all of these, you're just going around the outside like you're going around a circle. And how many degrees are there in a circle? 360 degrees. So that's the way that I remember it. Visual learners, here's a nice visual proof for you of the exterior angles theorem for polygons. Okay, so draw a polygon, okay, and in this case they drew a pentagon. And go ahead and extend the sides and shade in one exterior angle at each vertex, okay? One exterior angle at each vertex, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, if you look at that angle, that angle, that angle, that angle, and that angle, okay? And then if you cut out those exterior angles, and you could actually do this. This is a nice, like, those of you that are very kinesthetic, you like to do arts and crafts, you like to cut with paper, construction paper, and that kind of thing. This is a really good crafting project, okay, or crafting activity. Okay, you could just draw, take a piece of construction paper, draw with a straight edge a pentagon, extend the lines so that you have one exterior angle at each one, cut them, literally cut them. Sorry, that's my uh, puppy. He's uh, a little bit tired, um, but cut them. Okay, and then once you cut them, these will fit perfectly together and make a circle. Okay, so visual learners, kinesthetic learners, I encourage you to try this at home. This is a really cool activity and it just kind of shows a visual proof of the exterior angles theorem for polygons. All right, so here's an example using that exterior angle theorem, okay? So the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is always 360 degrees. Remember, they always add, it doesn't matter if it's a pentagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, dodecagon, it does not matter. They always add up to 360 degrees. Pause the video, see if you can figure out what X equals. All right, hopefully you got, okay, this equation to set up the um, problem. Okay, you just add up all four of these exterior angles and they all add up to 360. Okay, go ahead and do a little bit of arithmetic magic. Okay, combine like terms, subtract 156, divide both sides by three. Voila, you get X equals 68. Now, do we have to go back and plug that in? No, we answered the question. Find the value of X in the diagram. Okay, it did not say find the value of the exterior angles that are missing. Okay, box your answer, done. Guys, that is all I have for you, believe it or not. Make sure that you're taking good photos of your work for Google Classroom. Um, you guys have been doing great so far, and we're getting off to semester two um, in great fashion. You guys have just done amazing work, and so I appreciate all the great photos you're taking. I appreciate all the neat work that you've been handing in. Great job following instructions, following directions. You guys are more than halfway there. So great job. Let's keep up the good work. Enjoy your homework. Here are your practice problems, and I'll see you in the next video.